I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Dan Amos. He is the CEO of Aflac. Dan, wonderful to have you back at the exchange. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you, it's my pleasure. And you brought the Affleck duck with you, of course. Of course, I always try to bring him. <laughs> He's the star. He is a star for sure. But I'm really looking forward to talking to you. We've got lots to talk about. So now let's talk about the stock. The stock has recently hit its all-time high. To what do you attribute this, and what do you see going forward regarding the supplemental insurance industry? Well, I would say first, it's setting goals and achieving the goals that we had told them we would set. And I think most people believe we will achieve that. And then I think it's management of our capital, being able to deploy capital for either dividend increases or share repurchase uh, has been the other aspect that uh, the shareholders have liked to see. So now, many may not realize this, but approximately 75% of your revenues come from Japan. Um, what are some of the challenges you face being an American company in Japan, and what, what do you credit the success to in Japan? Well, we've been doing business in Japan since 1973. We were the second company to be licensed uh, in Japan, first after the war. And um, it's very difficult getting a license, but once you got the license, they wanted you to be successful. So in many ways, they opened doors and helped us, but it took us a long time to get the license. There's an interesting story about Japan. My uncle was the CEO before me. He passed away in 1990. But he went to Osaka to the World's Fair, and he saw people wearing surgical masks, and he knew it was a thriving economy. Well, we all now know what that means because of COVID. But pre-COVID, we didn't know what that meant necessarily why they had on surgical masks, which meant they didn't want to spread a cold. And when he saw that and somebody told him that, he clicked like that and he said, that means that these people are health conscious and they'll buy our insurance. And he spent almost 10 years trying to get a license and we finally got that license. Oh, okay. So now tell me, how is the Aflac duck different in Japan? Well, <laughs> now this is what's really interesting. Japanese can't pronounce Q's or L's. Mm -hmm. So if you take a commercial, I mean a uh, comic, yeah. and you look at it on, in a newspaper, it won't say quack quack, it will say ga ga. Oh. So the aflac or the quack quack aflac doesn't work in Japan, mm -hmm. but they love animals and things of that nature. So. I said, let's try this and see what will happen. And the Aflac quack quack doesn't work, but we have 94% name recognition in Japan, mm -hmm. higher than we even have in the US. It became an instant hit and took off in Japan for us. And today we insure one out of four households, have over 100 offices throughout Japan, have over 40,000 agents working for us, and then we have the largest life insurance company in Japan selling us, and also the post office, which is a, a business partnership. You just rang the opening bell, and you're here um, as part of the NYC second year of celebrating our Global Giving Campaign. You're contributing, you're here to talk about contributing more than 162 million to childhood cancer um, causes, and specifically to your Aflac Cancer and Blood Disorder Center, which is in Atlanta. Um, talk to me about how the relationship came about and where do you see it going in the future? It's a very important part of our company, the culture. This is our 27th year with Children's Health Care of Atlanta and what we have built at the Aflac Cancer Center. What I always say about us is we are the cheerleaders, the doctors and nurses are the players, and the way we cheer is to raise money. Now, the most interesting thing to me about the $160 million is 80 million plus of it came from our agents out of their and employees out of their own salaries and commissions. So they have participated in making it what it is today because of the additional funds. So it has been a terrific, now in addition to the cancer center, the blood disorders, it is the number one sickle cell place in the world today. And you know, the, the African-American community is very big in Atlanta with Martin Luther King and all the things that took place. So it is, it is considered the best place to go. And our cancer center is ranked in U.S. News and World Report as one of the top 10 pediatric cancer centers in America. 
And so we love giving back. We have kids with us that helped ring the bell today that were sickle cell and cancer uh, uh, survivors. And it's just, it, my wife and I, Kathleen, it's, it's our favorite uh, thing that we do in terms from a corporate standpoint. Oh, that's wonderful. Can, please continue to keep up that great work. And thank you for joining me today on NYC Floor Check. And thanks for bringing the Aflac to He Jeff has been in. so good. Do you want to pet him? I sure do. <laughs> oh, oh. He won't. he's just saying hello. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. Okay, <laughs>